What's going on, everybody? Jess here. Um, if you are a new subscriber or you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I'm doing videos every week. I'm going to try to do twice a week. And today's video, the topic of getting a big back. So I just did how to get big legs and that got some good responses. So now we're going to do how to get a big back. And I'm going to take you through the top three exercises that I do to grow my back. And I'm going to tell you tips on that through a commentary. So stay tuned for more. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, what muscle should I do next? Let's do this. All right, guys, so let's jump right into this. How to get a bigger back. Now, there's a few things that I really want to cover um, about building a bigger back. And before I get into even this routine or any of these exercises, but we'll get into that in a minute. I really want to start off by saying that when you work out your back, you have to feel it. Now, a lot of people can't even get sore or they just don't feel it at all. So what you really got to do is lighten the weight to where you can contract your back as hard as possible, but still get a great burn out of it. So if you can row 80 pounds for five reps, maybe drop that down to 70 pounds for five solid contraction reps. That way you really utilize the whole entire workout each rep. So let's get into this routine also. Here I'm doing some deadlifts. I like to do five sets of six reps. Uh, nice and simple for you, 30 reps total. If you want to do a three by 10, that's okay too. I think you should at least hit 30 reps if you really want to grow a big back. You gotta do some volume. Now it's really hard because this is a very compound exercise and it takes a lot out of you. So I would recommend not going fully to failure, but still going near it and really contracting your back at the top of the movement and feeling it in your back and your upper back. So here I did some sumos, which is more of a leg dominant way of doing it if your legs are stronger. So make sure you give it a shot and don't hate it if you haven't tried it. So next we're going into pull-ups. Um, as you see, it says four times failure, which means we're gonna do four sets to failure. If you can only do two pull-ups, then you're only doing two. Um, I really think that this is the best way to get stronger and get a bigger back. I do neutral grip, I do overhand grip and underhand grip. Um, just mixing it up all the time, really feeling it in all different areas of your back. I think the pull-up is kind of underestimated in a way because people tend to just do them because people tell them to do them, but they do them wrong. So what you need to do is really control the negative and feel every moment of the pull-up. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time and you're most likely just using your biceps. So to avoid that, pull with your elbows, really pull as if you're trying to dip your elbows behind you into a bucket of water behind you, trying to tap them on the top of the water. So next exercise we're doing, some single arm pull downs. These are the greatest exercise for some unilateral work on the left and the right, so give it a shot. Um, they look like they're very easy, but they are very hard. So pull with the bottom of your hand, almost near your wrist. I like to call it the heel of your hand. You wanna push through there, pulling the weight all the way down. This is a great upper lat builder, and I think that this is a great way to get a big back because it really finishes off your back hard. And if you do it last, you will be sore the next day, I guarantee it. Here I did some double arms, as you see, just moving the weight nice and smooth, really contracting as hard as I can for the upper lat development. So give it a shot. Next, we're going on to some hammer strength pull downs. And if your gym doesn't have this, then you can alternate it with some single arm pull downs from a lat machine or a cable fly machine. Something that's just gonna isolate one lat at a time, but it's a pull down. So I like this one because you really load up the weight. As you see, I'm doing two plates, which isn't too heavy, but it still really gets the job done. And I like to go with a neutral grip, and every few weeks I alternate with neutral and overhand. So just give it a shot. I like it a lot. You can really load up the weight, which actually helps progressive overload more than anything, and that's how you get a big back. Contractions, progressive overload, and heavy movements. Hope you guys can feel it in your back as I do. Have a great day.